Hello and welcome to Panorama Studio 4 version. Studio 4 Pro actually, 4.2. Uh, so we're going to do a quick um, stitch. But I'm also going to do a replacement of the tripod with uh, an image. So first of all we'll get our images into the program ready to be stitched. So as normal, uh, a quick look just to make sure you've got no repeating images and also that you've got no images that are missing. So that's always good to have, isn't it? So help, hopefully we've got all them. So I've got eight images, which is normal for my uh, stitching process. Some of you will only have four, some, some may only have two. But anyway, uh, I've got eight. So we're looking at the uh, settings for my particular setup. Uh, I'm using a, a Panasonic DMC G5 and I've got a circular fisheye lens and although it doesn't look like a fisheye I can tell you it is and I just leave vignetting on no advanced settings no grid settings not at the moment and we'll just go to uh, a quick uh, alignment press on the alignment and we'll get a nice thumbnail type size sketchy type size whatever you want to call it but it, it, it's a lower res uh, it's just to give you an idea have your have your stitchings gone correctly and they look like they are they're all they're all joining up which is good <laughs> now if you notice there's a, a problem with that tripod it's not all the way at the bottom so we're not even bothered about it because we're going to insert a graphic so let's look what we've got to do so i'm going to put a, a logo on the bottom of my business just to uh, put a little advert in because this was a freebie for the client uh, there was some more work after this but we we just need to put this in so uh, png going straight in now here's a go the settings for this need to be correct so as the image goes in it could be an image that you stick to a wall but it's no good we want it to go circular we want it to work with the 360 tripod replacement so to do that we need to make sure instead of it being a plain 2d we need to go to spatial 3d now what that does is it allows it to move with 360 and make sure it's on a spherical setting there so those two are the critical ones on the actual image so here we go drag it down and as you see it's coming down it starts to go out and squash out along the line which is what you want it to do once you've got it to a straight line this is the part that does your head in sometimes it's a straight line but we're actually putting a circle down but don't forget we're using it on a spherical so it becomes a straight line and we need to then just do some positioning so i'm moving it down moving it down till i see the tripod because all we want to do is cover over the tripod so go down go down and oh there's the tripod right just just go back up a bit and leave it there all right so that's hap that's that's not a bad position for that one now that's just a nice one so we'll just uh load that and then we're done oh and it's disappeared don't worry about it guys it's gone for one reason only so you can do some more editing so if you're going into the hdr and you want to do some editing there now as i say we haven't got hdr on this one but we will be doing some hdr in the future uh, but i'll just show you uh, the hdr these are the new settings all in a panorama studio 4 wasn't available in 3 but it's going to set you up to the next level of getting your images perfect so we can now shoot in hdr mode on your cameras fantastic so here we go let's do a bit of render now you'll see the images come back but notice this thing we didn't have the image all the way down did we we had a little gap where the tripod wasn't all the way down to a one 180 in fact it's 168.1 so what we need to do is to drag the image down to take in the whole of that um picture that we just put on the bottom that logo so now we're seeing 180 by 360 as it should be and that is what's going to help us get a perfect picture now i'm going to leave all the settings as you can see there as they are not changing anything just leave all them straight for it and then hit ok and once we've got this now i'm going to let let's see how long it takes to render this one two three four five six seven 
eight, nine, ten, eleven seconds or thereabouts to render that image and replace the tripod. Now that's going to work. That that's going to speed up your workflow considerable with this new version. So fantastic. I, I wouldn't want to do any more to it at the moment, but there is obviously post processing we could do some hotspots. But just for this purpose only, we'll save this image out and we shall uh, we shall view it very shortly. But here we go. A nice new uh, menu area for um, naming your images and you can name them and you can also check over the settings of the jpeg that I, i'm going to say mine is a jpeg uh in there before you do the complete save so jpeg 8 bit that'll do uh 300 dpi that's okay for me and hit save and that's it so that's the image done we're finished with it and all we need to do now is go to our favorite viewer so let's do that uh, I'm not going to save it because I'm not coming back to it to do any more work on it. But if you was, you would save it as, a, as the dot pap. Right, here we are in our favourite viewer, Rico Theta. And there's the image. A little, a little tiny planet. Let's go into it. And look at that, guys. We replaced the uh, tripod while we were doing the stitching. And now we can see what we've got which we know what we've got. We've got a fantastic stitch. It never fails to impress me, this program. For the limited amount of work and effort you put in, this just does it. Fantastic. All, all the hard stuff's been done by the guy who actually made it, which is brilliant. So hats off to him. Hats off to the new version. It's fantastic. I will be doing a lot more versions of... Um, things let me know what you want me to do i mean obviously we want to see the hdr so next time i do some some work uh, in the near future i will do a hdr session and bring them into it and see how we get on with that but look at this look at this here we go how long did this take to replace not long at all and there it is <laughs> we've taken over we've not We've, we've not even had to go to another program, which is great. Uh, there is a little bit of shadowing there on the floor, but really, um, if you wanted to, you could go up, go into another program and remove that. Uh, but reality is, they're there to look at the clothes, aren't they, on this one? So that's it. A very quick look at how to do a, a replacement of a tripod by putting an image over the bottom, all in the same program, and how easy was that so if you'd like to see more please think about subscribing and let me know and give me a thumbs up or even give me a comment and just say i'd like you to do this i'd like you to do that or whatever can you do this can you let me know that anyway till next time bye for now